what is going on you guys it's your boy joe blow gaming hope you guys are having a blessed and amazing day i know i am so anyways guys in today's video we have a lot for you guys so we are back on episode two of our um making our strength build as overpowered as possible and if you guys haven't subscribed already make sure to click that like and subscribe so as you can see we are already making if you haven't watched the last episode go watch it we defeated margaret really easy fight with this build it was really nice you know we're already starting to get a lot like very overpowered i did a lot in this episode and i i compressed it into like a six minute game play which i was shocked i couldn't believe i did that anyways we end up picking up a golden seed we kill this mini boss here at the castle we go back we end up picking the axe um or the claw talisman and if you guys don't know obviously the claw, claw talisman is pretty important for this build um, I think I'm gonna be rocking it quite a bit. I don't know when, but I will I will end up rocking the Cloud Talisman. Anyways, getting absolutely beamed by arrows, most annoying thing ever. But we end up getting the Cloud Talisman, and we're basically just picking up the items we, we need before we end up defeating Godric really quickly. This is gonna be a super easy fight. We basically one try Godric, super easy, nothing really hard. Um, now to be honest, this build is already getting pretty overpowered, especially with the tal talismans we already have, like the Ragged on Source Seal, and the Axe Talisman, and the Claw Talisman, and the Green Turtle Talisman. Really, the only talisman we're missing now for this build is the Jar Talisman, which is going to vastly up uh, boost our equipment load, so we're going to be able to eventually dual wield as we keep leveling up our endurance. Now, really what I'm focusing on is leveling myself up, leveling up our character and leveling up the weapons we are using that is what is really going to make us overpowered now there's also the asha war called the night or resolved knight i'm pretty sure it is or knight's resolve we are going to get that we do end up making our way to Illyrian Lur lake if you guys know me i can never pronounce that correctly but we do end up making our way uh to Illyrian lake and from there, that's where we're able to pick up the Knights Resolved Asher War. If you guys don't know what that does, it basically gives you an additional 20% damage boost. I'm pretty sure it's 20% to any weapons you're yielding. So if you're dual wielding, you know, two strength weapons and you put the Knights Resolved on both of them, you know, it's basically like Seppuku for Arcane in a way. I'm pretty sure it basically just boosts your damage. So that would obviously help us a lot. So as you can see, we just, we get rid of Godric. Super easy fight. First try. Really, once you play the game a lot, like, Godric and Margaret are super easy. I'm, I'm sure you guys all know this. So, we make our way to the Red Wolf here. Um, and we go ahead and obliterate him as well. So, this... So far, we're doing pretty good. We've already made our way through three bosses. Um, we haven't even upgraded the sword yet. The reason I haven't upgraded it yet... It's simply for the fact that I want to get the Smiling Stone Bell Bearing 1. And for me to do that, I'm at the perfect place. I need to be at Lyriona Lake. It's in the Crystal Tunnel in Lyriona Lake. So we're going to go ahead and get that eventually later in the episode. Um, really quickly, I wanted to go ahead and grab a few things as well while I was here. Um, I'm pretty sure this is where I end up making my way to Crystal Tunnels. We end up picking up a Golden Seed on the way. Uh so yeah man once we get the the first uh smiling stone that's where we're able to really start upgrading our weapons and i know the second one is going to be at the atlas plateau so i really want to go ahead and uh just kill uh rena and then and then move on from there so uh renella sorry anyways yeah so we make our way to the crystal tunnels to get our smiling stone bell bearing uh, you know, I'm a huge fan. I always get the bell bearings. It's just it makes your life so much easier than just like always picking them up. Like it just makes life way easier. So and now we're now we're at least going to be able to start upgrading our great sword. And once we get to Atlas Plateau, we're also going to be able to pick up the giant crusher as well as, as the smiling stone bell bearing too. So now we're really going to be able to start upgrading our weapons. I'm pretty sure we do end up getting the great sword to a plus five this episode. So we do end up running into an issue actually later on in the episode you will see uh really quickly i wanted to do the white masks um quest so we can get to moog so we have that unlocked now you guys know why we come here you guys know you guys have to know why we end up coming to moog's place not only to defeat moog eventually but you guys gotta know why we're here man there's the rune farm that is exactly why i'm coming here Guys, like I said, I'm trying to make this character as OP as possible. 
We're gonna be rune farming a lot and we're gonna be really ranking them up. That's the whole point So again, if you guys for don't remember the main attributes attributes we're gonna be working on is strength endurance and vigor um, Obviously and then we're eventually gonna be adding into faith I don't think I'm gonna get my endurance and my strength higher than an 80 um, I just don't think there's really any point going past 80. Uh, I'd rather put that into faith or vigor or endurance the one thing we're really going to have to focus on, though, is endurance. Because if we're going to be dual wielding a lot of these strength weapons, it's going to take up a lot of endurance. And we want to make sure that we have a lot of endurance. So after we do a charge attack or something, we're not out of endurance and we're getting absolutely destroyed. Now, you guys will see here, we do struggle with, with Renella. okay? We do struggle with her. And this is where I realized I haven't necessarily upgraded my items enough yet. I think we had the great sword, and I kind of played like ass, I'm not going to lie. I did not play good. Um, it was really stupid of me like I should be healing right now, but I'm not I'm just doing my lion's claw So I, I played really dumb right here. This is where I get absolutely annihilated And we go ahead and try again. So I realized okay, I need to level up my character I need to upgrade my sword so off camera I do end up killing her later on because I did do some rune farming and I just wanted to get past her for the next episode that so that we can get to Atlas Plateau I think we're gonna be able to do a lot more stuff there. So but that was it for this episode, guys. I know it seems like a short episode, guys, but this was literally an hour-long video. And somehow it came into 6 minutes and 30 seconds, which is absolutely insane. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe. And I'll make the next episode longer. Anyways, see you guys. Have a good one.